Hello guys. In today's experiment, I'm going to extract iodine from water. In other words, I'm going to make iodine immigrate from water into the organic layer using solvent extraction or liquid-liquid extraction method. The very first step is to dissolve iodine in water, but there is this little challenge. As iodine is a non-polar molecule, it cannot easily dissolve in water, so it needs a bit of effort, and I mix it for a while. Pure iodine itself has a dark purplish color, but when it dissolves in water, it produces a brownish solution. But you know, ideas are different. My friend sees a yellowish solution, so it's actually your call to call it brown or yellow. As I said previously, iodine is a non-polar molecule, so it needs a non-polar solvent too. In this case, I use dichloromethane to extract it from water. And as I always say, try to add your solvent to your solution very slowly so there won't be any water droplets spreading outside. At the very beginning, you can see a slightly pinkish color appearing. The pink color in this experiment shows that the iodine has moved from the water layer into the organic layer. Now you can see the forming of two layers, water and the MSO. And of course, water has a lower density, so it stands on top. Now all we have to do is to mix the solution really well. But I had this little problem that my separatory funnel and its stopper didn't really fit. So I used my hand to hold it tight, but it didn't work and it was a mess after all. So if you don't want this to happen to you, try to make sure that your separatory funnel and its stopper really fit in the first place. After that, I tried this mixing thing two more times. And as you can see, at the end, I have two layers with two colors, white and pink. And as my friend says, it's red. You know, it's your choice again. The white layer shows how completely and satisfyingly the iodide has moved from water into the organic layer. And this is officially the last drop to leave the water layer. Thank you for watching.